I'm Regan, and I'm going to be doing a TED Ed Talk on animal breed discrimination. Um, I'm not an expert, and I'm not encouraging it. I'm actually discouraging it. Um, so, uh, some of the uh, five of these animals that I'm going to be explaining are commonly discriminated because of either their looks, because of a superstitious belief, or how anim this type of animal has been trained previously. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to be talking about are pit bulls, rottweilers, sphinx cats, German shepherds, and black cats. So, yeah, so like I said, the main reason of discrimination is because of a superstitious belief, because of its looks, or because of its uh, how it's been trained in the past. Like an example is pit bulls. Pit bulls have been previously trained as guard dogs, like and other and other um, in other types of uh, in other jobs that have been that include attacking people. So people would just automatically assume that a pit bull would just as soon as it's born would just be mean just because a, a different pit bull has been trained like that in the past. It really doesn't make much sense. Now a pit bull can be trained like that and would be good at that job, but that doesn't automatically make it so that it will um, just regular that it'll just be mean. So, um, uh, yeah, so the animal, dis animal breed discrimination is basically the same thing as being racist to humans. I mean, um, because most of the, uh, uh, like most of the problems that occur, uh, with, uh, like being racist to humans are because of their looks, I mean, or, I mean, what they've done in the past. But again, this is the same thing. And we all know being racist. I mean, is a, like, it's not a good thing. Like, a lot of people shouldn't be like that. I mean, it's a mean quality. All right, so um, back to the specifics. I already explained pit bulls. Rottweilers have been trained in those certain types of jobs as well. And um, it's the same thing. People just believe that they're mean animals because they've been trained like that in the past. But, um, uh, yeah. And sphinx cats... There are no really superstitious beliefs, any jobs, but it's just basically because of their looks and they have no hair. I mean, you don't go up to a bald person and start yelling at them and hitting them. I mean, it's the same thing. I mean, uh, sphinx cats are um, just a normal cat with no hair. And people would automatically assume, again, that they're like some horrible creature just because they look differently. Okay, German Shepherds. German Shepherds has, have been trained as uh, have been trained as police dogs. Have been trained in the military, and people again would assume that they're that they um, that they automatically inherit those qualities because some of those types of animals have been trained in the past, which is completely unreasonable. All of it is very unreasonable. Um, and black cats are just uh, like superstitious beliefs. That, uh, there are superstitious beliefs that if a black cat walks in front of you, um, you're going to have bad luck. Which we all know is not true. Some people still believe it. A lot of us believe it's not true. But still people will discriminate the animal and not get one. Like a, a, stray, cat, a stray black cat walks up to their... Um, like walks up to their house. They wouldn't pick it up because they think that it would just be uh, like a hor some horrible animal that would cause them bad luck whenever it would walk in front of them. Very, very unreasonable. All of it is very unreasonable. Um, <clears throat> the aggression levels of the animal um, are just automatically assumed by people who don't know about them. So the only way you would get to not discriminate them is to, like, is just to not... The only way you would... Um, find a way to not discriminate them. It's just if you wanted to uh, actually see one, see how it's not the quality that you thought it was originally. I mean, the only way you really have to is to prove it to yourself that they're not like that. Um, and yeah, so um, that's that. Um, like a military dog, um, like a German Shepherd, would be, um, would have to be like a uh, would have to attack its enemies, and that would just be to protect people. So it honestly isn't mean. I mean, it's still protecting things. It's just doing its job. But um, uh, it's it's not like all these. They don't come with personalities of um, dogs that have been trained a certain way. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. So um, 
yeah, all of it is just very, like, I highly, highly, highly discourage breed discrimination in animals because it is, I mean, the same thing as being racist to humans, like I explained before. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's about it. So, uh, yeah, just don't discriminate animals because of their breed. Bye.